Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are at River Road in Cayuga, the site of our several of our work days. River Road is just uh, north of Cayuga, south of York. We got a group of volunteers set to trek into the work site where we're going to plant some cedar trees. We're going to do the rest of those those machines into the bank. Comes the crew. Beautiful. So now we're placing the fascines over top of the Christmas trees on the west bank to help scour that sediment out the bottom. And over here on this downward bend, the log structure is pretty stable, so here we're going to fasten it to the bank and again with a Christmas tree and a fronting of fascines. That's two good ones in place. Now it's time to get another tree up above. We've got 20 of them here today, so we got ample. And we'll now tie this in place. We're not sure about down below. It looks as though we're going to need about four good sized trees on that bend down below. And Derek's driving another cradle in place for, again, another tree and machines. I think you can put the tree. I think you can put the tree, uh, Derek, you can put the tree b behind the cradle if you like. That'll get the butt end lower. Yeah, put that outside and put the fascine in the tree, yeah. Oh, okay. That's what we did over here. Yep. So now we got Ken doing the tying of the first fascine. Look at that beautiful gravel right behind them. That's going to scour all that sediment out of there. And our live staking crew is out reconnoitering for some good stakes to dry through this whole mechanism. Okay, Ken, you can give you a good look at what we're doing. That's good, okay. Well, have you ever seen a spring like this before? No, I haven't. It's amazing, isn't it? No, it's, it's fantastic. And, and right behind you where it's scouring again, I, I'm mussing it up a little bit, but you see that gravel we put in? It's going to migrate downstream in this, in this meander that we're helping to build. Yeah. And it's going to send this section, Ken. If you look upstream, you see the meander and how it's dropping. There's about a foot and a half drop between here and the pond up above. But you see, what we did was you couldn't even walk through here. We took the trees down and we notched them and cut them to size and we placed them in varying angles to provide little waterfalls. See the little waterfalls all the way down and we're getting, we're getting collections of gravel behind each waterfall. Perfect for brook trout. At the same time, we're not destroying the overhead cover because there's still ample tree cover up above to give it shade so it's not gonna be beaten in the sun. That's another spring channel that comes in from this side where the girls are up there cutting the fascines, but that's a very small watershed in itself because the stream comes across behind you about 100 yards over and it joins this stream All down below. Together. So you've got a little island of a watershed. So the rain that falls on this watershed is all that's going to affect the flow levels. And above this point where we're standing now, there's virtually no watershed, just about the size of maybe a big house. So whatever falls on your roof in your home, is about all we get into the stream. We've got, uh, yeah, well, just go around the rocks. The rocks are going to stay anyway, so just move around them, avoid them. Yeah, that's what um, we're trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's actually, a, actually, that's a good sign. If you got rocks, then we're going to have a stable bank. Uh, what we've got is on the shore here, eight more machines that we can use between here and the bottom. Uh, I think that all we need is maybe to use one on the point here and one at the far side, yeah. Yeah, and that'll do it. And I don't think we need to fill this, this in. Yeah, this we, bank we, really but we don't need that many trees. I think a machine will do it down here. Now that you've got this one tree here to go in, yeah. right? I think that's gonna be ample. Because okay. that's gonna deflect the flow to the right. And down below, it's pretty straight run, yeah. but it's but it's very soft. There's a, there's maybe eight inches more or more of sediment down there. So put the, against that bank? Against that bank to keep directing it. 
And I'd say just below that growth of, of osier there would be good. Yeah, you see, just below that, we'd put another one in there, and that will help deflect it to the right. And that'll be picked up by the main flow you see coming by. Yeah. The beauty of that is now when we do that, we might put a machine on this side as well, because we got ample, we got eight of them here. Yeah. We'll put another one on this side so that we've narrowed the flow through this, we kind of pinch it. Yeah. And that way we're gonna really scour, we're gonna scour and flush out that lower section. Yeah, so we can get some steaks in somewhere. There you go, well, find a soft spot. <laughs> there you go. Then we go to the bank here, even the bank. Really? Yeah. That's good. Well, that's excellent. You know what I do then? Find a place where you can stake that, where, let, where you could let it swing. Put put a stake in the bank. Oh, yeah, just let it swing. Put a stake in the bank and let it swing like just a sweeper. Let it swing in there. Like a swing like a sweeper. I would I would say that's just as good as anything. All right, I'm going to bring down a couple of stakes. Good. Who's hammer hoarding? There is that we can get this absolutely horizontal. It grows on both ends. Uh, root, root structure. If you get it on a slope. Yeah, we want it horizontal so it'll grow both in the bank and in the water. So you get it pretty low if you like. You can go right down into it. That's good. Great. Wherever I can. Yeah, wherever you can work it through. And then and just as horizontal as you can get it into the bank so that it grows in the bank. And that's why we're doing all this in the spring with live, with live shoots so that they're, they're ready to reroot right away. Lots of moisture here. Yeah. That's good. Matt, looks good, eh? There's a lot of mud there, boys. Yeah. On this curve down here on the inside, and let one swing, we'll move that uh, woody debris we put in there last year and what place it a little better. Ah. Uh, no, no this is a good no, this is a good start. We can just stake him in next time we're down. Me a there we are. We'll bring next time we'll bring a hammer for you, Mike. Good stuff, guys. That's a great little extra job.